Hi students, today we are again with this video of association rule mining. It's also very important topic in our data mining. Here we'll discuss the basic concept in association rule mining. So finding interesting association or correlation relationship among a large set of data items. So this is association rule mining. Okay, the, now the companies are more interested in association rule mining because they, in their database there will be large number of data items which will be stored in it. So they want to get the relationship or they want to get the correlation or association among the different data items. So at that time in data mining those people start using association rule mining also. So it is basically helps in catalog design, cross marketing, loss leader analysis and other business decision making process. So the in example is market basket analysis. The process of analyzing the customer buying habit by finding the association between the different item that the customer plays in the, in the shopping basket. So they want to find out like which all items they will be taking together. It helps the retailer to develop marketing strategies by gaining insight into which the items are frequently purchased together by the customer. So it deals with how frequently the items have been purchased. So it will increase the sales no? by helping the retailer to do selective marketing and plan their shelf space. So they decide in which shelf you have to keep it. There are two methods can be employed. Suppose uh, most of the customer in the supermarket will be taking milk and bread together. So if milk and bread are frequently purchased item together, then they can be kept in proximity to each other. And this will increase the sales of both of them. That is, it will increase the sales of the milk and it will also increase the sales of the bread. Now, one more method is employed in business that is placing them opposite ends of the store entrance. So whenever a customer will be uh, taking the milk and it will be going to the other end to take the bread, then in between what all things he will be seeing, sometimes he will take that things also. So that is the method to increase the sales also. So they placing them in the opposite ends of the store entrance so the customer can pick other item along the way. Basket can be represented by boolean vector which can be analyzed by buying pattern so bread and butter are taken together i told you so bread butter support is equal to 20 percent and confidence is equual to 45 percent our measure of the interestingness is represented by support and confidence so let us see what is support uh, and confidence okay suppose that there are total 100 transactions and in which the 20 is buying bread. The support is written by number of times a bread appears by total number of transactions. So it is support is equal to 20 divided by 100 into 100. So it will give 20%. The support is also taken as probability of A union B. So out of 20 transaction, 9 transactions are such that both bread and butter are purchased together then you take the confidence confidence is equal to 9 divided by 20 into 100 that is 45 percent so confidence is equal to support of x and y together divided by support of x it is also taken as the probability of b when a is given to you Next, we will discuss what is transaction database. So, transaction database T with n number of transactions. So, in this example, how many transactions are there? 5 transactions are there. So, here the n is equal to 5. And for each transaction, we will have a transaction ID. Uh, like T1, T2, T3, T4, T5. These are, these are the transaction IDs. So, then there will be a list of items which is bought. Okay. So, it is denoted by I. So, I is equal to set of item which is bought and these are called as frequent item set. So, list of item which is bought is equal to T1 they are buying bread, nut, butter. In transaction T2, it is buying bread, coffee, butter and T3 bread, butter, egg, T4 nut, egg, milk, 
टी फाइव नट कॉफी बटर एग मिल्क आर फ्रॉम दिस यू फाइंड विच आइटम्स आर बॉट टूगेदर सो लेट एस सी द ब्रेड नट बटर ब्रेड कॉफी बटर सो ब्रेड एंड बटर हियर ऑल्सो ब्रेड एंड बटर इज अपियरिंग हियर ऑल्सो ब्रेड एंड बटर इज अपियरिंग सो वी कैन सी दैट द ब्रेड एंड बटर कॉम्बिनेशन इज बींग अकरिंग इन इन द थ्री ट्रांसैक्शन टूगेदर सो दे आर कॉल्ड एज फ्रीक्वेंट पैटर्न ओके सो फ्रीक्वेंट पैटर्न इज इक्वल टू ब्रेड बटर इट इज अ सेट ऑफ आइटम विच इज रिपीटेड इन योर ट्रांसैक्शन डाटा बेस नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू डील विथ असोसिएशन रूल वॉट इज एन असोसिएशन रूल इट इज अ फॉर्म इन विच वी रेप्रेजेंट द पैटर्न इन विच द आइटम दैट आर फ्रीक्वेंटली असोसिएटेड और परचेज टूगेदर सो एक्स इम्प्लाइज वाई ओनली इफ एक्स इंटरसेक्शन वाई इज फाइव दैट मीन्स इट इज अ डिसजॉइन सेट वेर एक्स बिलोंग्स टू आई एंड बी बिलोंग्स टू द आई आई इज अ आइटम सेट वेन एवर एक्स अपियर्स एंड वाई ऑल्सो अपियर्स इन द ट्रांसैक्शन एंड एक्स एंड वाई आर सिंगल आइटम्स वी प्रिफर एसोसिएशन रूल शुड सेटिस्फाई रिक्वायर्ड सपोर्ट एंड कॉन्फिडेंस सो इट शुड हैव मिनिमम सपोर्ट एंड मिनिमम कॉन्फिडेंस ट्रस्ट होल्ड सो इन दिस केस इट कैन बी कॉल्ड एज स्ट्रॉन्ग एसोसिएशन रूल सो एसोसिएशन रूल क्लासिफिकेशन इज बेस्ड अपॉन सम क्राइटीरिया द फर्स्ट क्राइटीरिया इज बेस्ड ऑन द वैल्यू हैंडल्ड इन द रूल सो फर्स्ट वन इज एसोसिएशन बोलियन एसोसिएशन रूल सेकेंड वन क्वान्टिटेटिव एसोसिएशन रूल इन बोलियन एसोसिएशन रूल द नेम इट सेल्फ सजेस्ट दैट इट इज रिलेटेड टू बोलियन वैल्यूज सो इफ अ रूल कंसर्न एसोसिएशन बिटवीन द प्रेसेंस और एबसेंस ऑफ एन आइटम देन इट इज कॉल्ड एज बोलियन एसोसिएशन रूल सो इट डील्स विद प्रेजेंस और एबसेंस ऑफ य आइटम इन इट and it obtained from market basket analysis next is quantitative association rule if a rule describes the association between quantitative item or attribute so it deals with the quantitative item not the boolean item it deals with the quantitative item quantitative values of an item or attribute are partitioned into intervals in this case okay if the age is between 30 to 39 and income is between 40 to 48 will buy a high resolution tv so that is see this this is arranged in a form of a interval no so such cases is called as quantitative association rule so this is called as quantitative association rule now second one is based on the dimension of the data involved in the rule it can be single dimensional it can be multi dimensional single dimensional association rule if the item or attribute in association rule each reference only one dimension for example buy buys x computer buys x antivirus it deals with only one dimension that is buys when it deals with more than one dimension then it is called as multi dimensional association rule so this one age x 30 to 34 and income is between 42 to 48k then it buys a high resolution tv so here three dimension has come the age income and buys so it is called as multi dimensional association rule next one is based on the level of abstraction involved in the rule set so you can see this age uh, ranges from 30 to 34 buys laptop age 30 to 34 buys computer system so there is two levels of doing this here we have different levels of abstraction so it's called as multi level association rule if there was only one level then it is called as single level association rule next is based on the nature involved in the rule the association can be extended to correlation analysis where absence of the presence of correlated item can be identified okay so it can be extended in correlational analysis also so students i hope it was clear to you thank you for watching my video